Musings of the Way by Tracy Horsington The air was still and stale in the quiet monastery. Kneeling at an altar, a quiet, small monk carefully leafed through the yellowing pages of a prayer book. How has it lasted this long? he wondered to himself. The palm-sized book apparently held much information about the foundation of the order, yet he was none the wiser on how to reveal them. A lanky man, clad in pale robes littered with small holes, approached him and peered over his shoulder. His beaming smile and optimism penetrated the atmosphere of the room, making it difficult to focus. However, the studious one attempted to tune out the vibrant presence, much to the chagrin of the intruder. Any progress, Monty? Monterey Jack rolled his eyes at his companion's insistent nickname for him. He closed the thick pages of the tome abruptly. A slapping sound resonated through the room. If you didn't keep interrupting me every ten minutes... The taller man shrunk back slightly to give his co-worker space. Satisfied, Monterey opened the small book again. His brow furrowed at the wordless pages hoping to find the truth hidden within them. It was nine and a half minutes before he felt the looming presence over his shoulder again. He sighed. You're as mental as they say. Hey, it's not my fault Gorgon has a hard time remembering Emmental. And why doesn't he just call you Swiss? The tall man, Swiss, shook his head. He's convinced the big cheese will reprimand him for not knowing the naming conventions, but we both know that's what occurred. It was true. The young recruit has had difficulty adjusting to the unusual dynamics here, but that wasn't unexpected, to say the least. Monterey shrugged. Gorgonzola will see the way eventually. Give him time. He's still fresh. There is a moment of silence as Monterey stared at the holy book in front of him. Questions flooded his mind. How could so much wisdom be held in such a small, pristine space? Why was it printed on the flesh of our savory saviors? Upon reflection of the teachings he recently covered with Gorgon, the last question made some sense. What more sacred medium was there than your own oozing flesh? What greater sacrifice than writing your final dying wish on the only medium available to you in a prison? Well, that was a much more glamorous explanation than claiming it was the equivalent of dandruff or scabs. And as Monterey stared at the pages, he dismissed the sacrilegious idea. They were too supple to be either of those things. That led him back to his first question. The one that he came here to the altar each day to seek an answer for. But with his eager companion in the room, there was little he could do to concentrate, let alone contemplate the secrets Monterey was desperate to uncover. Swiss's eyes gleamed victoriously when Monterey sighed and put the book in its sacred place. Ah, you done? Good. I need your help with something, Monty. Monterey quirked an eyebrow. You could have told me sooner instead of hovering. What is the problem? Not here. Swiss looked around the formal room and shook his head. Then he reaches out a hand to his kneeling friend. Let's go for a walk. About time I drag you out of this stuffy room.